The NBC became the sole owner of the Miss Namibia beauty pageant this year and is working with Jamila Tuiras, Miss Namibia 2023, to make her reign a success. Tuiras emphasized the need to afford children with peace of mind so they can attain their dreams. Youth empowerment is when young people take control of their lives and their futures. Peace is not only the absence of war, but it is also the presence of love, understanding, compassion, tolerance, patience, and unity. And that is why we are all here today. Because we are one Namibian, one nation, right? Yes. And as learners, you have the power to shape your future through empowering and inspiring yourself. I want each and one of you here to believe in yourself. It took so much for me to stand here. Regardless whether people believe in you or not, it's not going to make a change. But once you believe in yourself, believe me, no one and nothing can stand in your way. Inspire yourself through education, respect, curiosity, and knowledge. And as you study hard, listen to your parents, listen to the teachers, and as I said, believe in yourself. You are championing and culturing peace in the future. Also speaking at the event were the NBC's manager for Erongo region, Chris Kupulo, and Teresia Huajuses, Valfas Bay circuit inspector. It is a day we dedicate to fostering stronger relationships with our communities bringing hearts together and giving hope to the Namibian ch children through creating an enabling environment that is conducive for teaching and learning to take place. As NBC, we take pride and commitment in enhancing lives of our citizens by engaging in initiatives that have a significant and positive impact on their lives. Today, we are doing it to the children of the Irongo region here at Katora Primary School in Spitzkope. As the saying goes, the children are the future and NBC, and as NBC, we have accepted the challenge to ensure that the future of our leaders, to ensure that our future leaders are guaranteed and their future is in good hands. The future of Namibia is in good hands. And seeing the condition of the hostel in that condition was a thorn in my flesh for the school where I was the principal. I talked to my director, I asked, is there any possibility that we can paint this hostel and replace the window panes of Katora Hostel because it's totally a thorn in my flesh. I'm not feeling good at all. Then my director, since she knows my capabilities, she said, but uh, you know where to knock, at which doors you can knock to make this possible. An increased student population is a major challenge for the Katora Primary School in the Irongo region. The school does not have enough teachers, and many of those employed are forced to undertake long commutes from surrounding towns. The classrooms, hostel, and dining hall are no longer adequate and partly in poor condition, lacking furniture and teaching materials.